Hi again, welcome back. It's the 14th of May 2018 and I'm just shooting this video as I usually do just to see if I can show you how we how we trade at the Price Action Traders Institute and um, seeing if we can get another winning day here. So I've taken some trades early today, took my first trade at 25 past one in the afternoon here in London, ready for the uh, start of the New York session. Looked like there were some moves throughout the um, London session today, I didn't trade that. But price seems to be moving um, as we're move, as we're now going into the New York session. We've got, we've got a few minutes to go yet before the New York opens. So I'll just quickly run through these and um, let you see what I'm doing. So Euro Japanese Yen took this at 22, looking for further upside movement. EJ Euro Japanese Yen looking for further upside movement on that and took that at 22. Pound US Dollar. This was one of the first trades that I took. Took this at 85 and again looking for further upside movement on that. That's showing a little bit of profit at the moment. Pound Japanese Yen. Took that at 74 as it came through our entry criteria. And again looking for further upside movement on that. Canadian Dollar Japanese Yen. Took this one long at 77. Looking for further upside movement there. That's showing a little bit of profit at the moment. I've got everything set up with my stop set. I always put a trailing stop on when I first initially set these trades up and still until they start going into profit then I'll, ma I'll take the trading stop off and I'll manage it manually and the last trade I've got is the New Zealand dollar US dollar just pulling back a little bit at the moment I took that at 44 looking for that to move down so that's the five trades that I've taken so far um, ready for this New York session to open I'll pause for now and I'll come back if there's any significant moves or any changes all right, back again with an update. Um, I took the EU Euro US dollar as it came through one of our entry points. And so, uh, what did I take there? 22, so, no, sorry, 92 I got in the Euro US dollar. Um, just run through these other trades again. The Euro Japanese Yen, still in that, looking for further upside movement. Pound US dollar, still moving up quite nicely. Looking for that to break that zero, zero, and hopefully if it pushes through that, then possibly getting up to 20 there. That's where I've got my take profit at the moment, but that could change as the price action changes throughout the session. Pound Japanese Yen, you can see that came through the 80, looking for further upside movement. If that breaks that zero, zero, I've got my take profit up at 20. Might be a little bit optimistic, but we'll see how it goes. Um, you know what these charts of these prices are like sometimes, they just rock it off, and if they do, I want to be ready to catch it. Um, so that's the pound Japanese yen, the Canadian dollar Japanese yen, still in that, looking for further upside movement. Take profit up at 20 at the moment, but um, we'll see. Again, might be a little bit optimistic, but let's see how it goes and see how this price action picks up throughout the New York session. And the last trade is the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Saw that started to move down a little while ago. That was on the US dollar strength, but that seems to have eased off a little bit now. So still holding that. Got my stop loss in place, and uh, if it comes back to that, so be it. So um, just holding those, what have I got? Six trades at the moment. Two, three, four, five, six trades open. That's me fully loaded, and I shall pause again and come back if there's any changes. Back again as we're seeing some moves on a couple of the pairs that I'm in, and I've started to manage them with my um, price stop. So I'll just run through all these pairs. Euro, US dollar doing nothing at all since I got in on that. So it's just sitting there hanging around. Euro, Japanese yen still hovering. Those last three candles staying around about the same price, but it's in profit. I'm happy with that. Pound, US dollar started to move up nice and strong. I've actually locked in 10 pips on that, giving me a one to one risk to reward ratio. And the pound, Japanese yen. Again, this one started to power up, seeing strength on the on the pound pairs and I've locked in 12 pips on that again giving me a one-to-one -one risk to reward as my stop loss on that is 12 pips so it still looks like it's starting to power up if that can push through that zero zero um, then I'll start moving my stop up even more aggressive Canadian dollar Japanese yen not doing a great deal still hanging around still in profit so um, just sit with that and see what happens and New Zealand dollar, US dollar, that's pulled back now, showing a little bit of profit, started to move down, possibly on the US dollar strength. Okay, I'll pause again, and I'll be back very shortly. Back again, as we've seen some prices turning around, um, you can see the Euro, US dollar, 
pulled back on US dollar strength and so I had to punch out of that. The criteria that we use um, gives me a, a point where I can't stay in that trade any longer and so I punched out of that and I lost one pip. So only a very, very small loss. We work with very small losses at the Price Action Traders Institute and when you get the losses it's usually pretty easy to get back on top again. Uh, Euro Japanese Yen still holding that one, that's absolutely fine. Still showing a little bit of profit there. Pulled back a bit into the uh, price where I actually took that trade, but still holding there at the moment. Pound US dollar, that came back and hit my price stop. So I took 10 pips on that, managed to get out with 10 pips. But now we can see pound is starting to take off again. And I admit I hesitated a little bit on taking that again. I could have got back in on that trade, but chose not to because we were seeing that pound strength. But there you go. You can't win them all. And uh, like I say, come out with 10 pips, so that's okay. Pound Japanese Yen taking off beautiful. That's through the zero, zero. And now I'm going to chase that up with my price stop, looking for that to possibly reach that 20, which will be my take profit. Uh, what else are we holding here? Canadian dollar, Japanese Yen still going sideways, not doing a great deal, but still showing a little bit of profit. And the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. With that US dollar strength we saw just now, that started to move down, showing some reasonable profits. Pulled back a little bit, but um, still hanging in there and um, still showing a little bit of profit. Okay, again, I'll pause and I shall come back if there's any changes. Okay, back again, just to finish off, wind this up and um, run through what I've done here. Markets are just not doing a great deal at the moment. Started to see them reversing and um, I just got out. I just punched out the last few trades that I had open. Um, ended up in profit, not a massive amount, but it's okay. And not to say that these markets are not going to take off any second now. You know what it's like. You can walk away from the markets now and suddenly they just take off. But I'm um, happy with what I've got. I'll just run through these pairs just to show you what I did. The EJ, I got in there at 22, took this long, and I ended up punching out, uh, you can see on that candle that's just uh, just closed. Ended up losing six pips on the Euro Japanese Yen. The pound US dollar, one of the reasonable winners today. Um, I was just quite aggressive with the price stop on this and I'm just grateful that I was. So the GU got in at 85, took this up and I managed to get uh, 10 pips on that. I moved my price stop up to 10 pips, price came back, hit that and uh, gave me a 10 pip profit. Pound Japanese Yen, held on to this a little bit longer, although I was moving my stop up. I took the GJ at 74 and moved my price stop up, managed to lock in 24 pips and then this candle here came down and hit my price stop. Again, glad that I did because you can see price has come way, way down since then and it's hanging around below where I actually took the profit. So pound Japanese yen, 24 pip profit on that. Um, next pair was... Canadian dollar Japanese yen, I punched out of that for break even, wasn't doing anything, just went sideways. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, I managed to take uh, 10 pips on this. Uh, took the trade at 44, watched it move down, came back up, started moving down again, and um, you can see it's starting to go sideways now, but again, like I say, you just never know, this could take off and power down at any moment. But I took 10 pips on that, just punched out of that because I thought that'll do, that'll do me for today. So there you have it, plus 37 pips. So that's it, I'll wind up for now. Um, this has given you a little insight into what we do at the Price Action Traders Institute. If you're interested in finding out more, you can go to my website, which is uk2asia.com. And there's uh, plenty of information on there and links on there, which will take you to... Um, finding out more about the Price Action Traders Institute and the other thing is this YouTube channel I'm looking for I'm trying to make a thousand subscribers to make it feasible to keep doing these videos so if you enjoy watching these please subscribe leave a few comments and a thumbs up maybe and uh, see if I can get these numbers up okay thanks very much I'll see you soon with another video